Hello friends, welcome to Ghosh for AI. I'm Sharanandu Ghosh and I'm here to show you how to install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers for Ubuntu 18.04. So I just installed Ubuntu 18.04 in my system and right now it's completely blank other than my video recording software. I will show you step by step how you have to install the driver so that you can use the graphics card for uh, in problems like machine learning, deep learning, etc. Now, in the last uh, couple of years, we have seen the rise of graphics card and it has become very important for the machine learning community. Most of the modern uh, approaches like deep learning, they depend on a lot of matrix based operations or tensor based operations. And these graphics cards are built in a way so that they can use their parallel computation power to do these operations in a very efficient way. So right now I have a GTX 1080 in my system and I will try to install uh, the proprietary drivers for uh, this graphics card. So I'm all using the term proprietary drivers here uh, again and again. That's because there are about three ways in which you can install the driver. So the first way is uh, the normal uh, procedure where you do a sudo, sorry about that, sudo apt get install and then you do your you search for the driver and if I see if I press tab you can see that the drivers are listed in the app repository. Uh, the other way is to uh, download the drivers from the in, from NVIDIA site itself but from my previous experiences I have seen that these drivers do not work well with uh, APIs like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Uh, I, I don't know if in the last few years it has been solved or not but I have been using the proprietary drive, drivers for over the last uh, one or two years now and it has never caused me any problem. So that's one. Uh, that's the one I will be showing you. Um, so let's. Uh, okay. So I can uh, just give you the commands to install the whatever you need to do. But that way I won't be showing you how I have learned these things. So normally what I do is I don't remember these commands in any way. I always go to Google and I will search for it and I will. Uh, find the solution and I'll leave it. So that's what I'll be showing you and I'm showing you this for uh, specifically for a reason because I want people to have the habit of searching for solutions themselves not only to depend on somebody else So normally whenever I have to install I just uh, look for uh, proprietary drivers for uh, Say NVIDIA graphics cards for Ubuntu um, normally I can find something here let's see proprietary G G uh, GPU drivers here. so this is the page I uh, go to here you can see they have listed the graphics drivers that uh, are uh, in this uh, PPA repository so what we have to do we have to add this PPA repository and then we have to update the apt gate so let's do it. Let's add the repository in the terminal. You enter your password. Okay, so you have to press enter to continue. And it will be adding the repositories. Uh, Okay, so uh, the repositories are added now. Now we have to update. So the command is sudo apt-get update. Sometimes you would like to, especially when you have installed the operating system, uh, you know, it's a fresh install, you might want to check uh, in which servers you're using. And it's always uh, good to use the main servers. I don't know if it has been changed in 18.04 so let me just check yeah so normally if, if you see that there is a ser local server and there is the main server it's better to use the main server because you have the more updated repositories there the, all the repositories might not be updated in the local server so now since we have 
added the repository and updated it uh, now it's uh, time to install the nvidia driver so you can scroll down the page and you can see the latest driver that is there right now and it's probably version 396 this is the version that's uh, right now available okay okay so let me search for them sudo apt get install and then we have to search for the latest driver that is there there is something wrong with my keyboard I think. nvidia i to press tab you can see all the drivers that is available here so nvidia driver 396 is the last one i think let's see if it's nvidia driver 396 so i think you just have to write this okay so the maybe the 396 is not fully ready so let's do 390 you can always upgrade to a newer version uh, it doesn't cause much problem if you do that so we find the latest version that we have and let's press enter so it needs around 497 mb of disk space it's asking for a confirmation i press y enter and now we have to wait for it to finish okay um, the installation seems to have been completed now what we have to do is we have to reboot the system so uh, i'll be back after uh, i reboot the system okay so i am back after uh, rebooting my system so we have seen that we have installed the proprietary nvidia drivers now to check if the installation went correctly we, what we have to do is we have to open up the terminal and we have to write the command nvidia hyphen smi so this command gives you a nice structure about the details of your graphics card so you can see that the version of the driver is 390.59 that's the driver we have just installed uh, you can see the model of your graphics card so right now i'm using a dtx 1080 you can see how um, uh, the speed of the fan the temperature of your graphics card uh, you can see the power consumption as well as the memory consumption so this graphics card comes with around 8 gigabytes of memory and right now we are using around 225 megabytes uh, other than that we can also see the amount uh, of utilization of the CUDA com uh, compute cores here and the processes using them so sometimes uh, while running programs uh, we can see that some uh, floating processes are have consumed the GPU memory and we have to free them so we may need to kill the processes and we can find the processes process IDs that are uh, using up the GPU memory so this is uh, very important and normally when we learn uh, you know when we uh, train our deep learning systems we might need to keep an eye on this to see if uh, the temperature is uh, in, at a good level or the memory consumption is within limits or not uh, especially when you design models we have to design models in a way uh, by by models i mean the neural network architectures that we have to build uh, later uh, that i will be showing in later videos how you can build neural network architectures but when we build models we have to keep uh, an idea about the memory consumption as well so that information is available from me. so that's all for this video in the next video i will show you how to install the softwares that are needed for working with machine learning and uh, deep learning etc and i will be showing how to install anaconda and pytorch hey if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down and tell me how i can improve this video for you guys also if you have any doubts or any queries or if you want to see some new videos on some new topics based on artificial intelligence or machine learning or deep learning feel free to write in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications. Have a very good day and thank you so much.